Welcome to the second episode of The World's Strictest Parents, my favorite show on TLC. In today's episode of The World's Strictest Parents... Oh, oh what is that? that? <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that toxic, bro? I mean, this is gonna end in murder, I think. The two main characters of this episode are Celeste and Kai. Celeste is a party girl that smokes, drinks, and goes out all night long to get absolutely shwasted. All right, <laughs> to get swifty. It's a it's a Rick and Morty joke. It's a Rick and Morty reference. It wasn't even a joke. But it's involving Rick and Morty. Kai is the neighborhood bad boy who does drugs, vandalizes property, and slaps his wife's boyfriend at the Oscars. Both of their parents have decided that they need outside help and send them to America. The armpit of the world, I guess. You've been so bad, we're sending you to... Portland, no! Oregon. 16 year old Celeste. I love hearing Australians talk. Has given her mother nothing but grief. When are they the gonna say no? I'm gonna miss you like anything. Yeah. I'm not gonna miss you. Here. Here. No. I'm gonna miss you like anything. I'm not gonna miss you. Norway. Australia joke. I don't think I need to change my behavior. I think it's just my mum's delusional or something. Open your mouth more when you speak to you about your mother, all right? Especially when you're talking shit. If you want people to believe you, you gotta actually like enunciate your words and pronounce everything correctly. Nice bag, by the way. I'm a fan of the mom. I wonder if she's single. That breaks my heart that I used to have this little girl that seemed to love me. And now I don't. She loves you. That's so sad, man. This show is so sad. I can't imagine not at least appreciating my parents objectively for some good objective things that they've done for me. A lot of people have terrible parents. I fortunately have good parents. Sometimes. They're probably watching this. <laughs> it's people that don't like me, I say f you, cause wow. I That's probably so don't like you too. That's so great. <laughs> Celeste, 16, Perth, where? There's eight states. That's Wales. No. No, no, no. No, it's New South Wa New South Wales. No. Uh, 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 the Outback. No. Uh, 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 Arrest that man! I don't remember any of the rest of them. Every weekend we go out, we get She's drunk. She's crazy. Let's get slizzard. Or in our words, slizzard. Right, slizzard. We wow, that's smart. Funnels, we play beer pong. Oh my god. I actually named her Celeste because Celeste means a gift from heaven. Well, you were wrong there. This is female Bam Margera and not in any sort of a charismatic way, just a really gross, sloppy, disgusting way. I'm Bam Margera and I feel like kicking my dad's ass. I don't like drinking. I've never been drunk in my entire life. Feel free to make fun of me. I don't need you. I like that little sound it makes. I don't need you. Traveling with Celeste That's is 16-year-old Kai from Sydney. What? This is a teenager who only does things his way. That's awesome. Kai's bad attitude. I think it has a lot to do with not having an appreciation for the things he has, like his family, his home, lack of respect. Wait, what year is this? He has a phone. It looks like it was recorded in 2005, but he's got a fucking thin phone. Nice tats, bro. I'm just cool, <laughs> yeah. rowdy, nice. get up to mystery, That's go cool. pick fights. I love That's my nice. pills, speed, right. coke, right. Uh, acid. Dude's into the crazy shit. Pharmagaba, Benadryl, Flintstones gummies. I bet he mixes them all up and... Well, sometimes I get a job it's for rolling someone. I go out, I bash the person, and I take the stuff and leg it. What about him advi what about him like literally admitting to just committing a crime right then and, and stealing people's stuff and then and then selling it on the black market? What about that? What about that? Arrest that man! I feel helpless. Oh, I'm losing here. <gasps> It's so hard for me to relate to people who cry because I don't cry or drink. So here we are. If the teens just refuse farm. to be a part of our family, well okay. then their world's like gonna guy. stop. First off, I like that guy. If they refuse to be a part of our family, they don't vote for Trump. They're just gonna have to sleep in the basement. All right. Now teens have made it to Marion, a tiny Marion? country town at the edge of North Carolina's Blue Ridge Mountains. That's why I'm from. So dull. It's just green. If there's pigs or cows or... What, what do you mean it's just green? Where did you live? 
The concrete jungle? You think green is more dull than f buildings? What's wrong with you? Appalachia's beautiful. And their focus turns to stashing their precious booze and smokes. How'd they get that across the border into America? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was gonna give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Nice to meet you, Celeste. Right? Yeah, call me. He was gonna give him a hug? Well, this is starting off great. This is a lot of respect. This guy right here, by the way, could beat both of them up with one hand tied behind his back. He'd be huffing and a puffing, all right? And his, the plaque in his arteries would probably dislodge and he'd have an ischemic stroke and die out on that field of Kentucky bluegrass. But it'd be good TV. We just want to let you guys know that there's no smoking anywhere on the property. Lonnie Moss Sigs. Just seconds into meeting their Lonnie new Moss family, Sigs. our teens are already pushing their luck. Enjoy that cigarette. I will. It'll be your last for a while. Do you guys smoke pot? The color drained from his face as the insolent child from across the pond asked whether or not he smoked the pot. <gasps> the devil's let us the, 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 the Satan's reefer. The most funny thing, most of the rednecks and like farmers that I knew all smoked pot. All of them. Every single one of them. I never did it. I've never done any drugs. Swear to God. On my mother's life. Never smoked pot. Never drank a beer. But I have gotten absolutely fucking shredded. So um, we're going to go down by the fire pit and uh, we're going to go over some house rules. The what? Okay. Fire pit. The fire pit, you mouth breathing, fucking anime looking dumbass. Okay, so we have some house rules. Um, no fart. Number one. No shark. Be respectful to self and others. Okay. The animals here come before the needs of yourself. That sounds like bullshit. No drinking. On the property. On the property. <laughs> Her genius loophole. You could literally see her head inflating as he's reading this and she's figuring out ways around it. Genius. No drugs. Ah. If Celeste thinks she can find a way her around loophole. the rules, no she better think again. Have, uh, she'd put your arms up over your head like this. What? <laughs> he's patting him down. Jackpot. A dozen Jackpot. bottles of alcohol along what? with cigarettes have been discovered How they bring smuggled these? in Celeste's bag. How'd they get that? And they get the Lytle Zero Tolerance Treatment. Oh! Wow, he's gonna get glass in his eyes. Just like the 1920s Prohibition, I used to run alcohol at the back of my supernova. I used to drive my... I used to run in alcohol. Them, them damn jars would be slushing and sloshing. I had that 90, 190 proof ever clear in the back. Mount, Mountain Dew, white lightning. And then I would drink them all and die. I would go blind. With their smokes and booze gone, our no, teens have decided fuck. enough's enough. Oh, so stupid. So stupid. Night's fallen and they've taken off for the hills. Where they, for the hills? Where are they going? But they've got no idea of the danger that lies ahead. There is no danger there in North Carolina. Uh, out there we have a large population of bears. Nah. Uh, coyotes, mountain lions, and bobcats. Okay, there, there's not a large population of mountain lions or bears in North Carolina where they're at specifically. Blue Ridge, absolutely. There Are there bears? Yeah, but I think the biggest bear ever was actually in North Carolina, now that I think about it. The biggest black bear. But something has caught their attention on the outskirts of the Lytle property. Oh my god, yes! Open the door, see if it opens. What? They found an old cabin. And the teens think it's a perfect opportunity to exact some revenge. Oh wow. Yeah, let's smoke under the bird feeder. Oh, that seems unhealthy. Wow, these people are really stupid. My basketball skills. No. Oh my god. Well, I mean, that's a crime right there. Also, where did Kai get his cigarettes? And also, why is the cameraman allowing them to just destroy personal property? He's probably going, yes, this is good TV, yes! Ugh. All right. Oh. I heard a flicker he's of a, a uh, cigarette lighter. He's puffing a stiffy. He definitely oh, no, was no, not no. adhering oh, to our request to give us the cigarette. Well, he's going to burn the barn down, bud. Mark has been trained by police in proper restraint techniques, and he's about to teach Kai a lesson. I'm Interesting. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, what are you doing? You know, I, I made a choice when I had him restrained yeah, not him. to lay him down in the mud. He was begging oh, me, and oh, I wanted yeah. to show a little compassion. He seems like a goofy little rascal, to be honest. Kai's pulling cigs out of his prison wallet and just... Oh! Kai discovers his favorite oh, weapon. 
spray paint. Oh, it's spray paint. What did you, th did you think it was? Now he's tagging the Johnny Blues and the, the, the cabin that was built for a disabled person. That's funny comedy right there. What? He's spraying the sheep. The teens have discovered Stella, a sick sheep that was rescued by the Lytles. They went ahead and sprayed it with spray paint, raising them right out there in Australia. That's embarrassing. The Go first down to the disabled. light of the new day Ooh. reveals the full impact of their destruction. Ooh, that's bad, dude. I cannot believe that they would do this. Like, non-ironically. on his morning walk when he lays eyes on the going to get shot. Scene. Well, looks like they've had a little fun right there. A little bit of fun right there. I think I've seen enough. He doesn't even look that mad. I'd be so pissed. They spray painted the sheep. Not okay. <laughs> it looks like he's enjoying it. What a good guy. This guy has a lot of restraint. Like, to be fair, I know folks that have a shotgun out. <laughs> Round in the chamber. Done. Ready to far. Ready to far. I tell you what. Oh, well, he's spray painting him. Mark and gives the teens a taste of their own medicine. Bruh. That's doing? awesome. Ah, for now, two, four, two. Oh, oh, ah, for now, two, four, two. Spray painting his shoes. He should spray paint his high top white socks that they, they zoomed in on a minute ago. I get bread. All these fucking bands. Yeah, that's fair. Isn't it? That's a fair treatment. A little bit of VOCs, a little biological warfare. You're green, you idiot. I'm not a screamer or a yeller. I have natural consequences. <laughs> I'm not a screamer or a yeller, I'm just a good old-fashioned abuser. <laughs> That's not funny. Don't laugh at that. While Celeste runs Trick for the shower, really. Kai refuses to budge. So, Mark decides to up the pressure. Oh, oh what is that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you Isn't that, like, I'll get you back. toxic? Isn't that toxic, bro? Did he just spray him with a fire extinguisher? I mean, this is going to end in murder, I think. I've lived by as doing to others as you would have them do unto you. And, and these kids both defaced property True. and things that fair. I care about. Completely and fair. for them to do that to Stella last night, uh, you know, that she, definitely yeah. goes against oh, one of our right. house rules of uh, respect to the animals. I think it goes against all their house rules. Not even <laughs> Becky is safe. Our teens are using the kids' toys as ammunition. Call you up, <laughs> mate. Hmm. This seems like assault. Whoa. I'm gonna have your was locked up. I'm done. Are you done? I'm done. I mean, they deserve it. They, those kids deserve it. They deserve to be. Is this at the end? Is it over now? With the cops on the way. Oh, they called the cops. Celeste hit the road. Okay. That's a federal offense. That's a federal offense. He loves a good federal offense. That's a federal offense. See the way he said that? He looked like he was coming when he said that. There's the sheriff. How y'all doing, sheriff? He spray painted yeah, a belly. helpless sheep. That's a federal thing. After a good shake up by the local sheriff, oh our God. teens have decided to stay on the farm. Oh my God, of course they did. What else would they do? We, we brought in security. They're trained in physical restraints. Oh my God. They're armed. Got a rifle. <laughs> You've upped Annie on what? us. We're upping the Annie on you. Oh, um, this is so embarrassing. They brought in the gravy seals. Holy shit. All exits are now being monitored by security. Wow, so this is ridiculous. Going anywhere. They brought in armed guards, like paramilitary group. They brought in a <laughs> paramilitary group. That's crazy. Mark catches up with Kai a mile down the road at a tobacco shop. Those Marlboros? Yeah, Marlboros. Um, how much? For? He's 16. Oh, dude, you can't, you can't buy no cigarettes here, man. So close. He's 16? Get in the back. Get in the back. You know, I he think doesn't. Kai really thinks that I'm trying to show him who's boss. And in reality, I'm trying to keep his butt out of jail. Yeah, this guy's, like, truly, this guy's doing a really good job. Like, genuinely speaking, this guy's doing a really good job. I think this will end well. Grandfather gives him a chance to get the ball rolling. Come down here today to, uh, Come down here to the try to make me. peace with you. Uh, I just didn't want you to go back home thinking that I still had anger in my heart for you. I just good. don't want you feeling bad towards me, and I sure don't feel bad at you. Little bit of blood. Put her there, Chumley. Sorry, bro. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. I didn't mean to, you know, eat my farmer gabba and my friend stays gummies away once in your little disabled house. Kai seems to be doing pretty good, guys. I like this. <laughs> look at them, look at them. There goes Kai. Kai back home. He learns a lot. He learns a lot. Celeste goes home. Celeste. 
<laughs> Aw, she cries, she happy. That's good. Ooh, Celeste and her mom's relationship has changed for the better and she's pitching in with the house chores, sometimes without even being asked. I don't even do that. Kai has gone back to school full time. He has a new job and has stopped swearing at his mom. Do that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and click this and watch this one. Thank you all so much.